What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen. Today we are making stuffed mushrooms, but not just the classic kind. We're putting a little bit of a twist on it. We're making panko stuffed mushrooms. It's gonna be Asian inspired, and it has daikon, and mirin, and sesame seeds, and some other stuff. As always, the ingredients are listed below. Let's get started. Now, you would think that I love mushrooms as much as I cook with them, and I'm starting to come around, as I've told you all many, many times. I never thought I would be making stuffed mushrooms, though. You're gonna need 22 of these mushrooms. You want to get the whole mushrooms with the stems because you're gonna chop up those stems and put them in the stuffing mix. But I just got the caps because I forgot about the stems. So what we're gonna do is probably just chop up a few more. Uh, we'll make it work. And we're gonna wash them. It said to wash. I know you're not supposed to a lot of the times, but it said to wash and then pat dry. And make sure you get the stuffing mushrooms. It'll say stuffing or stuffer and set your oven to 350. Now that we finally have our mushrooms, grab your mushroom, we're gonna take the stem out. So you wanna cup it in your hand and then scoop this out. There we go. You wanna save these, cause we're gonna chop them up. No, we're only making 20 of these, so you wanna get two of them. The two that are the ugliest are the ones that cause you the most annoyance and put them aside. Should look like that. All right, now let's go ahead and chop these up. Now, grab your daikon. I think that's how you say it. Daikon, daikon, I'm not really sure. Fun fact, daikon means literally big root. And this is a big root. They're also known as white radish or winter radish. So what we're gonna do is chop this into a cup of finely diced pieces. Uh, your guess is as good as mine of exactly where to chop. We only need a cup, and we have this huge thing. <laughs> smells awfully rooty. I don't like radishes. And it smells like a radish. It just smells dirty. Let's chop this much. Let's see what that does. All right, perfect. And I don't know what to do with the rest, just uh, now to the green onions. Now, you want a half a cup of these, finely diced. You want to dice three cloves of garlic. Now, before we start on everything else, let's go ahead and toast the sesame oil. If you have toasted sesame oil, obviously that's gonna be a lot easier. Otherwise, just toast it. In the meantime, why don't you just go ahead and grab a cookie sheet, because you're gonna need it. Either put foil on it, non-stick foil, or you can lightly grease it with sesame oil. All right, it's starting to smoke a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and say we're done. All right, grab your skillet. We're gonna use this one later on, so keep it on hand. Now that we have our toasted sesame oil, we're not gonna use it, because we're using the peanut oil first. All right, so we're gonna put in a tablespoon of peanut oil. We're gonna throw in our chopped mushrooms and saute for about three minutes. Now they're gonna release a little bit of that water, so that's good. I would say that this smells good, but it doesn't, it's, it's mushrooms. Now we're gonna add the diced daikon. I have a feeling this is not going to make it smell any better. And we're gonna saute this for five more minutes. I have to say, this is the smelliest dish. But you know what, if you like radishes, you'll probably love this because it has that radish smell to it. Now let's add the garlic and cook for one more minute. Now it's smelling good. Now that most of the moisture is finally released, we're gonna go ahead and add the mirin, which is kind of like a sweet cooking wine, it's an Asian cooking wine. The salt and the white pepper. And we're gonna cook for two more minutes. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna slowly add the panko crumbs as well as the sesame oil. And if we need to, we'll add some water if it gets too dry. And we're only supposed to do this like a half a cup at a time. Sesame oil. So we wanna make sure all of these breadcrumbs are moist. All right, we're gonna add the last, and then we're gonna put in probably two tablespoons of water at first. So it's still a little bit too crumbly. The consistency should be to where you can squeeze it and it kind of stays, which it does a little bit, but not quite as much as I would like. Just a little bit more water. Now we're gonna mix in the scallions, and it's said to salt the taste. I already added in all of the salt. 
All right, now it's time to stuff our mushrooms. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon because that's the easiest thing to do. Get a scoop, smush it down. And then you're supposed to get another tablespoon and put it on top, like so, while making a mound, just like that. Now that we have our beautiful mushroom caps, we're gonna put it in the oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Now while that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and toast our sesame seeds. As usual, when you toast them, make sure you move them around a lot, otherwise they're gonna burn real fast. 20 minutes has passed. Let's get them out. So obviously we're gonna let these cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna try them. Moment of truth. All right, so it's definitely a mushroom. No getting around that one. It's not a bad, listen, I like portobellos, and this is like almost as good as a portobello. The toasted sesame seeds, I think, gives it a nice crunch and a, like that nice toasty taste. I like it. I like how it does have that Asian flavor to it. I feel like it's just good enough to where I would eat them, but I probably wouldn't make them again. But that's only because I don't like mushrooms that much. If you like mushrooms, you like stuffed mushrooms, try this version because it's kind of an interesting take on a stuffed mushroom. You know, when you're throwing panko breadcrumbs bread and toasted sesame seeds and making it all Asian-y, then yeah, it's a nice, you know, change. I might leave these in there for a couple more minutes just to make the breadcrumbs a little bit more crunchy. Maybe put the broiler on for a couple minutes or for a minute or so just to kind of brown the top. Again, it's a little too mushroomy for me to make like ever again, but if somebody made these, I would probably eat one or two. So if you're a mushroom fan, you'll like these. All right guys, hope you liked that version of a stuffed mushroom. I sort of did. If you liked what you saw, hit a thumbs up, share and subscribe and all that good stuff. I will see you all next time.